I want to talk about like when I started, you know, going to school and stuff, a lot of people put me down. You know what I mean? Like people tease each other. I mean, people come up and say, hey, oh, you know, you're too short. You're too tall. You look whatever. You know, different hair and all that. It doesn't matter. When you're growing up in life, it actually sort of matters to people how you look. And then it matters to you because it matters to others. Why? Why does it matter how you look? Because if they don't like you, then who will? If they don't accept you, then who will? And the fear that we have is that we're going to be alone. That we're not good enough. And you know, we have to change ourselves. And, you know, so many people put me down and say, Nick, you look too weird and no one's really your friend and you can't do this and you can't do that. And I couldn't change anything. It's not like just fixing my hair one day and everything's fine. It's not like, you know, just whatever. I couldn't change my circumstance. I couldn't just one day wake up and say, hey, give me arms and legs. I need arms and legs. But it was so hard because people put me down. And I started believing that I was not good enough. I started believing that I was a failure. That I'd never ever be somebody who people would like or people would accept. And it was so hard, man. I thought to myself, I, you know, I can't go on, the, go on the soccer field like everybody else. And I can't ride my bike and I can't skateboard and all these sort of things. And I started getting depressed. I thought, what kind of purpose do I have to live? I mean, do you, are, are you just here to live to die? I mean, is there not a purpose for me? Is there not a purpose in life? And I had questions and no answers. And I asked my mom and dad, why did this happen? I asked doctors, why did this happen? And they, they don't know. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you've got to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure? And no one really likes you, no one really cares about you. And it's not really to say that, hey, you need someone to come up and say, hey, really, I, I like you, I care about you. No, it's not that, but it's the fact that people put you down. People don't even look you in the eye. People ask you how you are and you say fine, but you're not fine and they'll, know, they'll never know that. I tell you, life is interesting. Life's a journey. So what do you do when you fall down? Get back up. Everybody knows to get back up. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. I'm down here, face down, and I have no arms, no legs. It should be impossible for me to get back up. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again, and again, and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I'm not here today to tell you that I understand your pain. I don't know how it feels to be abused. I don't know how it feels. I don't know how it feels. But I know how it feels to have a broken heart. And I know how it feels to be alone. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? And you will find that strength to get back up.